Have you ever wondered how some of those iconic dome, shell, and arch structures work? What were the engineering concepts used in those designs to make these structures so widely used and stand the test of time? Today, I'll be playing around with the upcoming MOLA 4 kits to simply explain why these shapes are engineered to be so strong. These MOLA models are the modular, snap together construction kits that replicate the behavior of real life structures and buildings. And if you want one of these MOLA 4 kits along with some bonus rewards, make sure to support their Kickstarter campaign that's going on right now. Affiliate link in the description below, and I'll talk more about that later on in the video. I'm Matt Picardle, and I'm a licensed structural civil engineer in California. Let's get into it. Why are arches used in everyday structures so much? From bridges to buildings to ancient Roman architecture. They're a design favorite for architects and engineers. Heck, even your favorite fast food joint has golden arches. Let's say that you're challenged with designing a building's roof to be as strong, as long spanning, and as light as possible. And to represent the roof structure, all you're given is this piece of paper. That's all you can use for the roof. How would you design it? First, let's get this building structure up first using the MOLA 4 kit. Almost everything snaps together magnetically, very easy to build, no instructions needed. It comes with joints, stiffeners, wire braces, and more. Okay, all we have is this piece of paper for the roof. If you're a normie that doesn't know engineering, then you'll go with the most straightforward way, is to just make a flat roof. But it doesn't take much load. If you're a person with some engineering skills, well, you'll ask yourself, what happens if you just bend the roof? Make it into an arch. We'll attach the roof to the structure with these connections. Now, if we load it, it can take more load. But why? How does the arch work so it can take on more load? Arches are curved structures that support loads by distributing weight and force in a way that makes them rigid and strong. The arch is a strong structural shape because it distributes forces equally along the curve, compressing the curve. Paper and common construction materials such as concrete and brick, for example, are strongest when you load them in compression versus when you try bending or flexing them in the middle. That's why arches are so strong and widely used. But wait, did you know you can make this even stronger? Now here's what a really good engineer would do. What happens if we fold it in such a way that it has some triangular shapes to it? Let's put some ridges and valleys in it. The MOLA 4 kit actually comes with paper that has folding lines in them already, and they come with simple folding instructions on how to fold these and other shell structures as well. Now, let's load it. You can see that by combining an arch with a folded plate structure, you can make the roof even stronger, a lot stronger. How does that work? Well, by folding it, you make the structure stiffer, stronger, similar to a folded fan, folded like an accordion that you can fan yourself with. That's stiffer than trying to fan yourself with flat paper. Another reason why it's stronger is that we put triangular shapes into it. Triangles are an engineer's best friend because they're a very strong, efficient, stable shape because it can brace itself in all directions. A square shape is not. That's why you can find these shapes in some of the world's most iconic structures. What about those spherical dome-like structures that you'll often find in older and even ancient structures? For example, if you have enough mola kits, you can build the sports arena in Rome, the Palazzetto dello Sport. This structure looks pretty complicated, so let's break it down. It's a dome structure and domes are just three-dimensional arches, similar to this arch pavilion that you can make with the Mola 4 kit. With domes, their weakness is that they want to thrust outward or bulge out when loaded, and if it's not supported, it'll fall apart. The way the Palazzetto solves this problem is by bracing it with those Y-shaped buttresses, but there's a more structurally efficient and economical solution to this. You can form what they call a tension ring around the dome to keep it from bulging outwards, similar to those metal rings around a barrel. In our MOLA model, we can add a tension ring around the dome to keep it from bulging out. This was actually done in St. Peter's Basilica when its dome began cracking in the early 18th century. Vatican engineers tied several iron rings around the dome to prevent it from collapsing. You can see that in the Palazzetto dello Sport example, those Y braces were a big architectural element to make it look pretty fancy, since it was a sports arena. They could have saved a bunch of money by just putting a tension ring, but that would have made it look like a boring water reservoir tank. 
But what about those more complex shell-like hyperboloid-like structures? How do those work? Let's find out. This paper fold structure is also included in the Mola 4 kit. Now, this structure is very similar to Spain's Hippodromo de la Zarzuela, and its curved roof is actually made from concrete. This works by stacking simple structural elements on top of each other. First is the arch that makes up most of the roof. Those arches then sit on top of a beam. In this case, it's the V-beam, the part when the arches intersect and connect to each other. That's taken all the load and is the most heavily stressed part. So there's often a lot of steel reinforcing in it. The V-beam then transfers all the roof loads to the main structure. So you can simplify this complex shape by combining the structural concept of an arch supported by a triangular V-beam. Same thing with the Los Manatiales restaurant in Mexico City. This looks really cool and complex, sure, but let's do the structural stacking concept to break it down. You have the arch element taking most of the roof load and those arch elements are supported by the valley V-beams. But that's not all. Those V-beams are actually integrated into a third structural element. If we look under the building, the V-beams don't just form an arch, but form an intersection of arches, very similar to a dome, making the building even more stable in all directions. So this complex shape can be simplified structurally by stacking the concept of arches, putting them on top of V-beams, with the V-beams forming a dome-like structure as well. So if you want one of these Mola 4 kits along with some bonus rewards, make sure to support their Kickstarter campaign that's going on right now. Use the affiliate link in the description below if you also want to help support the channel because I do get a small commission. I've used their Mola kits in many videos already to explain complex structural engineering concepts in an easy to understand way. So for me, it was a no-brainer partnering up with them. The campaign is running until Sunday, September 30th, 2024, so don't miss your chance to be part of this opportunity. Plus, when you pledge, you'll unlock exciting rewards at each level, from early access to bonus items to having your name in the official MOLA 4 manual, and even exclusive deals on previous MOLA models. You can find all the details and support the campaign using the link in the description. I also reviewed the original MOLA models, kits one, two, and three, in a previous video that's popping up on the screen right now. So check that out if you're interested in how they work.